Okay, for our next problem, we want to convert 0 0.875 to a fraction. I'll just zoom in a little. And here, for our problem number 10, we want to convert 0 0.875 to a fraction. We know that this is the 10th place, the 1st is the 10th place, the 7th is on the 100th place, and the 5 is on the 1,000th place. 1,000th thousand, a place. So in this case, we just need to take the entire number, the entire 875, the entire number, and divide it by 1,000. That's how we convert this decimal to a fraction. So you have 875 divided by 1,000, which is the equivalent of 0 0.875, because the smallest number in this fraction is the 5, and 5 is on the 1,000th place. So we just take um, the entire number that's to the right of the dot and divide it by 1,000, because 5 is on the 1,000th place of the fraction of the decimal, and 5 is the smallest place, it's on the smallest place of this decimal. So that's how we do those problems. We can leave our answer like that, but usually we want to simplify the fraction. So right over here, we want to simplify 575 over 1,000. We want to simplify this fraction, or reduce this fraction into its simplest forms. Now, how do we reduce fractions or simplify fractions? We just divide by, we just divide, find the common factor of the numerator, the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number. What's the common factor of the top number and the bottom number? The most obvious one would be 5, but they are also um, another number that's um, also a common factor of between 875 and 1000 is 25. So you can just divide both the top number by 25 and the bottom number by 25. You can also just do 5, but after you do 5, you'll be like, oh, we gotta do 5 again. So like, we can just directly do 25. So 1000 over 25, which is just 40, and 875 over 25, let's do long division over here, just to make sure our answer is correct. So 875 over 5, we know that 87 over 25 is 3, and that would make 20, or 75. 75. Whoopsie. 75. And our remainder would be 30, or would be 12. And we drop the 5. Whoopsie. And we drop the 5 would make our remain make our number 125. So what's what number times 25 equals 125? That would be 5. So 5 times 25 equals 125. Whoopsie. 125. And 125 minus 125 would equal to 0. And that completes our long division. equals to 0. So here we have 35, and our fraction is reduced to 35 over 40, which can be further reduced because you have another common fa factor, which is 5. So you just divide both the top number and the bottom number by 5. And 35 divided by 5 is 7. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And here. Now, let's look at the numerator denominator again. They're, they only have one common factor, which is 1, and that's the best we can do. So this fraction now is completely reduced to its simplest form. And our final answer is that 0 0.875 converted to a fraction is equal to 7 over 8, or 7 8. Perfect. So that's our solution for this problem. Now, let's view the sample solution to see what they have. Yep, they had a very similar uh, solution as us, except they di directly divided by two numbers by 125. But if you not have, if you can't see 125, 
um, as their fact as their factor. You can just do 25 and then 5 like we did. And if you're having even more trouble than that, you can just divide by 5, divide by 5, and divide by 5 again, and you'll arrive to the same answer. Just make sure that for your final answer, you check that the greatest common factor of the numerator, the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number, is 1. That way, you can be sure that your fraction is not just in a simple, simplified form, but in the most simplified form. All right, so that concludes our problem. And let's just um, give them a comment. Let's say, great job, the solution is correct. Solution is correct.